Well, we have first a legal obligation to welcome refugees. All EU uh, member states are party to the Geneva Convention. We are party to human rights um, tools as well. Then I believe it's, uh, it's, it's, it's more about as well the moral uh, obligation and responsibility to, uh, to, to welcome refugees. And we have a long history of asylum in Europe. Uh, and we shall not forget that this global protection system has been created at the very beginning for Europeans after the Second World War. So it's really part of our history as well. And I guess this is why uh, this so-called uh, refugee crisis uh, is so um, is so important. I mean, it tells a lot about us, about our past, uh, Europeans, the common past we have, all Europeans, and about what we can do together. If you if you uh, if you go back to 1945, there were more than there were more than uh, 40 million uh, displaced persons in Europe. Um, so we have this common history, but I think there's still national memories of this history. Uh, the way we perceive uh, the history, the European history in France is not the same as, as here in Germany, and I believe it's not the same as the one uh, in uh, Central European countries. Um, so, for, m for me, that it can be one of the reasons of, uh, of a different uh, position uh, in Europe and of, uh, of member states. I was surprised uh, that Europe was so weak uh, to, to, to find a collective response. I was very surprised. I, I mean, I'm myself a very pro-European, uh, but, um, but now I'm wondering more and more whether it can be the most relevant level of decision, uh, whether it's, it's possible. The thing is that the, the scale of the challenge today we have to face in the world uh, including on the refugee situation, um, is not manageable for one by per one single member state. Uh, the scale are too, uh, too big, um, so we need to find some kind of cooperation. But maybe it's, it's only on the level of practical cooperation but that we need as well to, to really question the Dublin system, the Dublin regulation system, uh, and to face this reality and maybe to, to have this speech of truth uh, many governments now they think that they have to have this speak, speak of truth, but just to say to, to people that we cannot take more refugees, but I think the speak of truth is about what do we do together or together, are we better uh, together than, uh, than, than not? And uh, this is a real debate. Uh, I really have to, 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 to find a solution quickly to this debate because uh, there are people suffering and there are people dying to, uh, to, to come to, to Europe and this is something we cannot accept. Well, I mean, we have to improve the condition of refugees abroad, uh, outside Europe, but not with the uh, aim that to, uh, to prevent them to, uh, to, uh, to come to Europe. And because at the end we're not credible. Uh, how can we be credible towards those countries when we, we the, 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 and the European Union is still the richest area in the world, is is a quarter of a of a of a wealthness of this world, and how can we be credible to Turkey or to Lebanon or to even other countries uh, when they see that the EU is collapsing because one million per person arrived last year? Uh, how can we be credible? So I think we have to, to be a little bit more humble uh, and um, we have to separate a little bit more uh, those two questions. Protecting refugees is a, it's a duty, it's an obligation, uh, it's a moral and legal obligation. Uh, migration, man managing migration is another issue and we should not mingle so much uh, those two issues.